Hi, my name is Gabe Brown. I'm the CTO of Big Box VR. We're showing Population One, so it is a battle royale sh uh, shooter featuring up to 24 players. Um, currently, we're showing a condensed demo of four players, but you can climb anything in the world, so if you can see it, you can climb it. Once you get on top of a structure, you can open up your wings and fly anywhere in the world. And the last bit is you can build, so there's a tile system, and you can build these tiles that you can use to build forts, you can build defensively, um, you can even use it to trap in your enemies inside boxes and then take them out. Battle Royale in VR is interesting because um, traditional Battle Royales and uh, desktop, they last a long time, 30, 40 minutes, so it's a major commitment. And so in VR, I wanted to have that more action-packed and more compact. So a big feature of Population One is these session times for an average match is about seven to eight minutes. A big chunk we also do is focusing on usability. So making it really easy to play uh, Battle Royale in VR is a very uh, important goal for us so that new players who've never tried VR can get in and play and have a great time. VR experts can come in and enjoy the depth that's there as well. We came up with a system called Freemotion, and uh, basically it, it's a lot of uh, research that we've done into movement inside of VR that makes it extremely comfortable. So it's more than just the vignette, so the darkening of your uh, periphery as you're moving for new players, but it also comes down to level design, uh, how you interact with the world when you're climbing, how do you interact with the world when you're flying. There's a lot of subtle details that we've spent months perfecting that makes it super comfortable for players. So Unity is obviously been really great engine to work with so um, they have a lot of great integration directly into VR so it's been super helpful there. Something we've really tried to do with uh, Population One is push the limits of what graphics can look like by making a beautiful lush vegetation, an open vibrant world in Unity so it's been a really great uh, engine to work with. Currently we're on the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift and Windows MR headsets but eventually you want to be on all headsets.